family Petrocidae includes all the Australian robins, with European settlement starting around Sydney. The yellow robin, or the eastern yellow robin as we now call it, was one of the first robins to be written about by European settlers. Whenever a spade was put into the ground, the robin was there, looking for a tasty worm. It was called a robin because of its similarity in behaviour to the European or English robin. Though the English robin was called the robin redbreast, this little yellow robin planted itself on trees in a sideway fashion and flicked its tails and wings very much like a European robin. So despite the fact that it was yellow, in contrast to the tan colour of the English and European robin, it was still thought to be a robin. In 1768, Cook departed from Plymouth, sailing for the Southern Ocean to observe the transit of Venus. Around about this time, there was enormous zoological advances, particularly in taxonomic classification. The Linnean process of binomial naming had just been introduced. Cook did a total of three voyages to the South Sea, accompanied by Sir Joseph Banks, a keen botanist and observer of nature who collected many specimens on behalf of the Royal Society. In 1774, while Cook was still sailing around the world, Reverend Gilbert White of the Royal Society published a book called The Natural History of Selborne. This book became the ornithological reference. However, it was concerned only with English birds. In 1788, the Linnean Society was formed in London under the auspices of one of the directors, George Shaw. Shaw went through the specimens that had been collected by the Royal Society and came across the skin of the Eastern Yellow Robin. The specimen was presumably sent by Sir Joseph Banks and he published a written description of this bird in 1790. Though Shaw takes credit for the first written description of the Eastern Yellow Robin, other people were also working on colour plates and describing this bird at the same time. One was George Latham who published a year later with coloured plates. 18 years after Captain Cook first found the east coast of Australia, Governor Philip arrived with convicts and first settlers in January of 1788. Governor Philip was accompanied by a surgeon, John White. Dr White made meticulous records of the journey and the wildlife that he found, including the eastern yellow robin. In 1788, he sent his journal back to England for printing. This was two years before Shaw published his description, so I believe John White should indeed be given most of the credit for describing the eastern yellow robin. He had physically seen the bird in its environment, painted it and described it. I have included his painting in the insert. Over time, the naming of the eastern yellow robin underwent considerable change, from Motacella to Musicarpa and then Eopsaltria, as used by John Gould and is still used today. Eopsaltria was the genera name for the yellow robins found in Australia. From the Latin, Eopsaltria means the dawn harper or morning singer. There are two other species within the Eopsaltria genus. These are the western yellow robin, which is more grey on the chest, and the white breasted robin. Both of these birds are found in the southwest of Western Australia. There are two other yellow robin birds the pale yellow robin of the East Coast rainforest and the yellow-bellied flycatcher, which behaves very much like a robin but eats farm oil by catching insects on the fly. At some point, both of these birds have been grouped in their genera Eopsaltria with DNA hybridisation. Neither of these birds are Eopsaltria. So the Eopsaltria genus has three species, the eastern yellow robin, the western yellow robin and the white-breasted robin. In this video you will have seen a lot of sallying by the eastern yellow robin where it pounces on a prey on the ground. Here is something unusual, it's doing the broken wing trick, trying to distract me from a nest that is nearby. These birds are insectivores, they eat mainly off the ground. The juvenile birds will have a degree of rufous colouring as the allomelanin will persist. Sometimes the feather quills will give a striped appearance to the bird. But as it matures, so this rufous colouring and striped appearance will disappear.
Look at the striping on this fledgling. And the rufous colouring. The eastern yellow robin, as its name implies, is found on the east coast of Australia. There are two subspecies. The nominate subspecies is Australis, found more to the south. Further north, the birds have a very yellow rump. The subspecies there is called Cryosaurus. On behalf of Plumes of Oz, I would like to thank you for watching this video on the East Eastern Yellow Robin.